Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about ratio. So this topic is for the grade 4, grade 5, and grade 6 students, and even for those students na grade 9. Kasi in this next few weeks, ang maging topic natin is all about triangle similarity, wherein ratio and proportion is a must topic na dapat nyo matutunan. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically, we have here a definition for ratio in which ratio is a comparison of two quantities. Again, think of two things that you need to compare and then isipin mo that that thing you're comparing is a ratio. So again, ratio is a comparison of two quantities. And we have here different ways on how to represent ratio. So we have four ways. We have here A to B, A to B, a over B and A slash B or pares naman silang A over B wherein meron tayong given condition that given two numbers A and B, we have two numbers A and B that we are comparing to such that B is not equal to 0. So yung pinaka-focus dito dapat hindi raw maging 0 si B because maging undefined siya. So imagine if you have the numbers like 2 over 0, it will give you an indefinite or undefined answer. So we are done defining ratio and we are done representing or showing you uh, the different ways on how to represent a ratio and I have here an exam or examples where we need to simplify the following ratios. We have here 8 is to 12, 15 is to 21, 18 is to 42, we have 6 is to 20, 21, 15 is 20, 24 is to 18 is to 12. So, dito, ang tanong dito, how can we simplify ratios? So, for item number 1, we can simplify ratio by getting or identifying first what is the GCF of the two quantities. So, we know that 8 and 12, their GCF or greatest common factor, again, their GCF is equal to 4. So what, we'll, what we will do here is that we need to divide these two quantities by 4. It goes like this. So we have to divide it by 4. 8 divided by 4 it will give you 2. And then you need to divide 12 by 4. It will give you 12 divided by 4. It will give you 3. Meaning the simplified form of the ratio 8 is to 12 is none other than 2 is to 3. So let's move on with item number 2. We have 15 and 21. We know that the GCF or greatest common factor of 15 and 21 is equal to 3. So basically, we need to divide these two quantities by 3. So divided by 3. And then 15 divided by 3, it will give you 5. And for 21, same thing we need to do with 21. We need to divide it by 3. So 21 divided by 3, it will give you 7. So the correct answer or the simplified form of 15 is to 21 is 5 is to 7. So I hope na sa ating first two examples, you already know how to simplify ratios. So for item number 3, you can pause the video and you can try answering or simplifying 8 is to 42. You can pause the video first. Alright, let's continue. Given this one, two quantities, 18 and 42, their GCF is equal to 6. Again, their GCF is equal to 6. So, to simplify this, we need to divide the two quantities by 6. So, 6 divided by, uh, sorry, 18 divided by 6. This will give you 3. And then divided by 42 divided by 6. This will give you 7. So, the simplified form of 18 is to 42 is none other than 3 is to 7. Now, let's continue simplifying number 4. For item number 4, we have 6 is to 21. So, 
6 and 21, their GCF is equal to 3. So we can divide the two quantities by 3, divided by 3. So three, uh, 6 divided by 3, it will give you the answer of 2. Okay? So we had here 2. And for 21, using the GCF, which is 3, 21 divided by 3, it will give you 7. So the simplified form of 2 is to 7, of 6 is to 21 is 2 is to 7. So for item number 5, I will give you the chance to answer or simplify 15 is to 20. You can pause the video and try that. Okay, so let's continue. For 15 and 20, we know that if the number ends with 0 and with 5, so one of the possibilities that their GCF is equal to 5. So their GCF is equal to 5 divided by 5. So 15 divided by 5, it will give you 3, right? And then for 20, you need to divide it by 20. 20 divided by 20. Alright, by 5. 20 divided by 5, it will give you 4. So the simplified form of 15 is to 20 is none other than 3 is to 4. Now for the last part of our examples, we have 24 is to 18 is to 12. So as you can see, we are trying to compare three quantities so, finding the GCF of 24, 18, and 12, it will give us the GCF of 6. So, we can divide these numbers by 6. Gato na lang gawin natin since they are 3. Yeah, by 6. And then dividing this, 6 divided by 6, uh, 24 divided by 6, it will give you 4. Right? So, there, 24 divided by 6 is 4, is 2. 18 divided by 6, that will give you 3. As for 12, we have 12 divided by 6, this will give you 2. So the simplified form of this ratio is 4 is 3 is 2. So I hope you learned something from this video about ratio and on how to simplify ratios. Again, if you want something for me to, to cover, or if you want me to create a video for you, you can comment down below your requested topic. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!